guys, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the products that I pulled last week in the Sample Sunday series. And then we're also going to pull some new samples. So the first sample I want to talk about is the Cetaphil. This is a skin restoring moisturizer. This is a little one ounce container and I kind of almost ate it all up this week. My skin is very, very dry. So I have been loving this because it's not scented so you can add your perfumes and things over top of it and it's not going to interfere. That's really nice about it. I feel like it's very, very hydrating. It's kind of cooling for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's so hydrating, but it feels a little bit cooling on the skin. Really do like this, and I'm actually going to probably go pick up the Cetaphil. I know they have a um, SPF one for your for your face. I think I'm going to look for that because I want something nice that's not scented or anything like that for my skin for the summer, and I know Cetaphil is actually recommended by most dermatologists, so I'm going to go look into getting something for my face. The next product is something from Living Proof. This is the Living Proof Restore Instant Repair product. This one it has that terrible scent that I don't like again. It's got that peppery scent, so for me, I, that's just not a scent that I love. I don't think the product itself is bad. I think it's a good product. It makes your hair look very luxurious. That's why I have been having a lot of curls in my hair this week, and I think it's due to using this. I really like the way it makes my hair look. I just don't really care for the scent of it. I think the scent's a little bit off-putting. I wish they'd make it either unscented or a little bit more florally. I like those are the type of things I like, either florally or unscented. So I just don't like that peppery scent. But other than that, it's a great product. So if you're looking for something that's going to help to, it kind of repairs your hair, but it also just makes your hair look a little bit more sleek and just, it just looks better, honestly, when you style it. It just looks nice when you style it. So I really do like this. The next product is something from Givenchy. 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 Somebody told me how to pronounce it. It's Givenchy. And this is the Rose Dressing uh, lipstick and it's the what is this the rouge I think it's the rouge type of lipstick really do love this color I thought I was gonna hate it because it's that bright pink but I love this color I actually looked into purchasing this but they're expensive for one lipstick so I'm not sure that I will purchase it I think I might see if I can see if I can get a um, like a small size of it I think they had a duo on Sephora like a, it was like two small ones and this was one of the colors I think this was like a popular color Really do like the way it looks on though. It makes your teeth look white. It doesn't have that orangey tone where sometimes that can make your teeth look a little bit yellow. Really do like this. I'm interested in purchasing a full size for sure. The next thing is the Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer infused with coconut water. So here's what the little sample packet looked like. And it did come with three samples. I did use two out of the three. I really like this. I think it went on under my eyes really nicely. It reminds me a lot of the... Um, Hang on, let me open my drawer here. It reminds me of this one. It's the L'Oreal Visible Lift because it's not, it goes on under your eyes and it doesn't create any creasing or anything like that. So if you have an issue with creasing, I didn't have an issue with this product. It's not super pigmented though. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more pigmented, I don't think this is super pigmented. It's not going to give you a complete, like if you have really dark circles, it's not going to cover it completely up. But it works really well for aging skin, and I think that's really nice, and dry skin, which is what I exactly have. I have aging and dry skin. I think it worked really well for both things. I love the foundation, too. So for me, the foundation and the concealer are really, really good. The next product is something from CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl True Blends, and they give you some little samples on here. I was able to use up three out of the six of the samples. I had to use three out of the six of the samples, honestly, to be able to do a look with it to get it on my skin because otherwise the sample sizes, let me see if I can open one to show you how small the sample size is. Like that's a foundation sample. That's so tiny. It was really, really small and hard to be able to figure out if you even like it. So I think that it's a good foundation. I don't know that I would purchase it because I don't think that it's um, hydrating enough because my skin is very, very dry. So I need something a little bit more hydrating. So for me, I wouldn't purchase it because it's not hydrating. However, I feel like it's got a good consistency to it. I feel like the, the way it looks on your skin looks very, very nice. But if you are someone who's dry, you're going to have to really moisturize and then you're going to also have to make sure that you don't use a setting powder or anything on it because it did make me look very, very dry. The next product is something from Fresh. This is the Fresh Soy Cleansing Eye Makeup Remover. Really do like this. It smells good too. It smells a little bit like, I'll have to remember now. Oh gosh, there's none left in the package. Let's see if I can get it to open. Yeah, it smells a little bit like, um... I don't know. It's just got a unique scent to it. It's just like I'm trying to think what I can what I can relate it to. I don't know. It's just it's like a clean, creamy scent. I think that it smells really, really nice. 
I don't know that I would purchase this just because I really like the balms better. I like the, I think they do a better job of removing your eye makeup. This did a good job, but I think that the balms do a better job of removing it, especially if you have a lot of mascara on. I don't think this did a great job on mascara, but it does it did a great job on like facial makeup and things like that. It says for eye makeup, but I put it all over my face to be honest with you. I thought it was like, mm, I don't care. So for me, I probably would not purchase a full size, but if you're someone who doesn't wear a lot of mascara and things like that, I think you would love this. And it does smell really nice. The next product is the Mai Tai Spritzer. This is a sea salt spray, and this is by Dry Bar. So these two in combination, the, the Living Proof and this one here, the Mai Tai Spritzer, because of the Living Proof being like a restore type product, my hair, when I wash it, I have natural waves in it. So when I washed it and used this product and then would use this, my hair looked very, very nice. I had a lot of waves to it going on. Love the way it looked. I love the way this Dry Bar smells. Now that smells very, very nice. I definitely would consider purchasing a full size of this. It smells a little coconutty, and I don't know what it is in it, but it does smell a little bit coconutty. I love this product. I think it's absolutely amazing. If you don't like sea salt sprays, though, you may not like it because it's a typical sea salt spray. I just really like the way it smells, and I like the way my hair looks when I do like the wavy type of look, like leave it air dry after you've washed it. So using these two products in combination really made my hair look nice, I thought, in my opinion. The next product is the Fresh Lotus Youth Repair Youth Preserve Radiance Lotion. Now this was nothing special at all. I think that it's a good lotion, it smells nice, but it wasn't hydrating enough for my skin. If you have maybe normal skin, then you, this would be a good uh, lotion for you. However, if you have dry skin like I do, then it's not going to be hydrating enough at all. I ended up going back in over top of it with my belief because I just felt very, very dry still. But it does smell good and if you have normal or oily skin, this may be a perfect moisturizer for you. Just not for someone with dry skin. The next products are the perfume samples. So I had the Sarah Parker, Sarah Jessica Parker Stash perfume. It came in this little vial here that has like the, um, let's see if I can pull it open, the little wand that you dip down into it. I hate those little wands. So what I did was, sorry, that was noisy. What I did was put it into an atomizer and then was able to spray it. You can still kind of smell it. It smells very, very, I have one little spritz. Oh, it's got a very, very unique scent to it. It's very, um... It has, I can smell a little bit of coconut, a little bit of amber, a little bit of vanilla. I smell all those scents into it. I just think it smells really good. It did not cause me to have a headache, so I would definitely consider purchasing a full size of this. I love Sarah Jessica Parker in the first place because of Sex in the City, so I like it for the scent and for the lady behind it. The next thing is the Fresh Maraschino, <laughs> Moschino, not Maraschino, that's cherries. Fresh Couture Mochino. This is the one that kind of looks like Windex. If you look at the um, bottle online, it looks like a bottle of Windex. This smells okay. I didn't think that it was anything spectacular. It was good. It's just not anything that I would purchase. It's, it's a very light scent. It smells like a typical spray, to be honest with you. I don't feel like it has a unique scent to it enough to where I'd be like, oh my gosh, you know, that's really, really good. Whereas the Sarah Jessica Parker has a unique scent. This one doesn't have enough of a unique scent. And the, I think this one, the specialty behind it is the bottle. So because it looks like a thing of Windex, I think that's their special thing behind that actual perfume. So for me, I wouldn't purchase that one. But if you like, oops, a lighter perfume, that's more of like the typical, like the department store type of perfumes, you may enjoy it. So now we're gonna move on to the new samples. So we're gonna pull our skin samples first. So here's the skincare basket. And last week I asked you guys to tell me how much you think this basket weighs. And I had a bunch of people guessing to see how much they thought it weighed. And I weighed it on the scale. And I'll insert a picture here if I can, or if I remembered to. It weighs 12 pounds and four ounces. So this is a giant basket of samples. 12 pounds and four ounces of samples, that's, that's a lot. So now let's go ahead and pull our skincare samples. So the first one I have is something from Eborian. This is the Yuza Sorbet Emulsion. So here's what the product looks like. I'm not even sure what that is. So we'll have to test that out and see how good it is. I have no idea. I think this is a Korean brand. So I may pull another sample because that one's really small. So we may pull an extra skincare sample this week. The next one feels like something small again. We have something from Josie Moran. We have the Josie Moran Argan matchmaker serum foundation well that's not that's not skincare that's makeup so we're gonna let's count that as a makeup sample so one of our makeup samples somehow that got mixed in here with the skincare the next sample is something from peter thomas roth this is the peter thomas roth mega rich body lotion so ooh, that'll be nice to have since i have really really dry skin and we'll have to see how good that is for the winter dryness and then the last skincare sample whoop 
We got another small sample here. And what do we have? I'll try to set that basket down. I have the UB Foaming Skin Polish. It says it cleans, exfoliates, and softens. It's a, it's a Japanese formula for your face and body. So here's what the actual product looks like. So I'm excited to try that out. I think these are new product bonds at Sephora. Both of these are, so I'm excited to play with those and see how good they are. Since this is a small makeup sample, we'll still go ahead and pull our two that we normally do. Now we'll move on to the next basket, and this is our makeup basket. So we have our makeup samples in here. And the first sample is, oh goodness. Oh gosh, it's huge. What is this? This is the Bobbi Brown's Bobbi Secret to Perfect Skin. It's the uh, Skin Foundation Stick. And we have, looks like six different shades in here we can choose from. So I'm excited to see how good this will work for my skin. I know like the foundation sticks are like the new hype right now. Everybody's trying to come out with a different type of foundation stick. I heard the Elf one's really, really good. So we'll have to see how good this is. Then we have one more sample here. Okay, so now we have something from YSL. This is the YSL Touche Eclat. Touche Eclat? Yes, Touche Eclat. And this is three different uh, shades here. I think we recently tried this. I'm pretty sure we have. So I'm actually going to put this to the side for giveaway because I know I've tried that. Pretty sure I have. I need to still go through my samples and clean them out. I haven't done it. It's just been crazy busy around in my house. So... Okay, now we have something from Honest Beauty. We have the Honest Beauty Lip Gloss, and there's three different uh, shades of lip gloss here. We have Creative Kiss, Dreamy Kiss, and, and Inspired Kiss. So it says, what kind of kisser are you? So it says on the bottom, this is a generous kiss, a kind kiss, and a playful kiss. I don't know what all that means, but okay. It's cute, gimmicky. So it says, pucker up, infuse with pomegranate for increased hydration, emollients hold moisture, and deliver high shine finish. Luminous, lustrous, Love it. So we'll have to try that out and see how good it is. Now we're on to our hair care samples. So let's see if I can switch these baskets out here without dropping either one of them. So now here's the hair care samples. And let's pull two. We'll reach down here. Oh, we got something big. We have the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Restoring Shampoo. So if I have a conditioner in here to go with that, then I'll pull that to go along with it. L'Oreal, actually, they really do have some good products, and they're affordable because they're at the drugstore, so it may be really good. Now we have a bamboo shampoo and conditioner. This is the Hask Bamboo Oil. It's a pro-defense complex, reinforces and nourishes. It's free of sulfates and parabens. It's a strengthening sh shampoo and conditioner. So I'm excited to try that out and see how good that is. I've never tried this before, so that looks exciting. Hask is the brand I had a colored, like the shampoo that was supposed to help with color treated hair for blonde, and I didn't like it. So hopefully I like this better than I like that. Now let's pull our two perfume samples. And what do we have here? We have our first sample is Stella McCartney, and this is just Stella. So here's a little perfume sample. I think we've had the Stella Dot before, but not the Stella, so. And then the last sample for today is, what is this? This is the My Burberry perfume. So we have the My Burberry and Stella for perfumes to try out this week. So, so far we have two perfumes. We have two hair care products. We have the shampoo from L'Oreal, and then we have the shampoo from Hask. Then we have, for makeup, we have the Honest Beauty lip products and then we have the Bobbi Brown uh, foundation stick and then we have the Josie Moran this is the self instant self adjusting light medium foundation and then for skincare we have these two little samples these are like the Korean and Japanese brands and then also we have the Peter Thomas Roth body lotion so those are all the samples that I'm going to be testing out this week to see how good they are and to let you know whether or not I feel like they'd be worth purchasing a full size. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your opinions if you've ever tried any of these products, whether they worked for you, whether they didn't. Both ways help. I'm sure you guys know that by now. That if you tell me something negative about a product, that that is helpful because because of the reasons why it didn't work for you, it may not work for me this, for the same reasons. Or because the reasons it didn't work for you, it may work for me because of your reasons. Do you see what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the rest of your weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. <music>